Welcome back, everybody, to Jesus Christ, the <laughs> Medoins and Friends podcast. Yeah, that was coming out hot, folks. Is this Jesus Christ or Jesus Christ? This is the Medoins and Friends podcast. I was letting him know Jesus Christ, as oh. we know he is watching. Himself? Him. Yeah, him. Yeah. Um, that uh, Speaking th- of that this was... <laughs> who, who's him? No, 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 no. I li- it's funny you... Uh, you bring up like that, like someone calling themselves him or yeah. something. But I heard that uh, that line I sent you last night mm. by uh, by Simba. He went on. Charlie fired the booth. Oh my god! With how many how many horns and sirens did you hear? Um, two two fifty two seventy five. Wow. To be honest, I can't really that's tell. A, that's almost light for him. Yeah, yeah. He he couldn't break through. Wah, 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 wah. Charlie in the booth. <laughs> Let's go, a booth. let's go, bro. Let's go, bro. I know you got you, bro. But the line I wanted to that I mentioned was one of the crazier lines I've ever heard. Mm. That might be an exaggeration, but it was it was a tough line. I mean, it's it's pretty crazy too. It, and it was Caitlyn Jenner flow. You can't tell me I'm not him. Yeah, that's, which is kind of like uh, that's yeah, that's some levels to that. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I don't know if you could call it a double entendre, but like. I would say so. Yeah. I, at least he, that's what he was going for. Yeah, yeah. Whether it was or not. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. Who, and who is that again? Simba. He, he's got the couple. Yeah, yeah. For sure. That is a pretty wild line. To say and to think of. Mm. And but the whole freestyle just goes insanely hard. Yeah. I mean, One yeah. of the better ones I've heard. It's a it's a pretty corny uh, radio station, but it's you have to come with the, the heat. The product you does, you know, he's made a name for himself. No, 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 that's what I'm saying. You you have to come ready ready for him. Like yeah. you, that's you know that's like their. That's what he said. He's like, yo, I got I had to pop out. You know? Yeah, because that's uh, Charlie in the booth you wants you on. He's in the U.S. like doing like a a run, because you know some people probably can't leave. Charlie in the booth. He's in L.A. doing oh, that's the fire. same shit, just in a different studio. Um, that's dope. Yeah, because I mean, I we know Dino before that. Yeah, for real. But like, I'm sure there was. Eh, no, nah, he was pretty big before that. But still, he came correct. On yes, that. twice. Yeah, tw- literally. Northside Benji back. twice. Probably a few other people twice. I was doing deliveries uh, this week, dude. Mm. And have you ever had a an, an encounter with like I know it's kind of big on the internet now, um, the trend, but with it like a person you consider to be an NPC, a non-player yeah. character. Yeah. Do, have you? Have you? Do you ever? Do you feel like you've experienced that? I mean, I feel like I do on a on a re- pretty re- regular basis, but I had one happen. What are your scenarios? Back to back, and it was so bizarre, dude. So I basically I get into the apartment complex and doing this delivery, and I'm looking for the the number where you buzz in, and the the one place I'm going, no button, of course. Mm. So I'm looking down to call the number, and I'm I on the other side of the door. I don't see anybody there. It's a glass door. And yeah. then all of a sudden, it, it opens. I lift my eyes up, and the guy goes, for you. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? And I was saying, like, I have the piece of paper. It's in my car. But I realize it's really not that funny to read on the podcast because yeah. it's a bunch of gibberish about. Uh, and I'm like, what? And he goes, the word. And then walked away, dude. I swear to God, I swear to God, said nothing else, walked right out the front door, and I'm looking at it, and it's like, you know, some scripture verse. Was he okay, or like... I mean... Probably not. Like, it wasn't obvious, but yeah. like, there... I mean, dude. He like, wasn't fucking, way he wasn't fucking it, with you, was he? Um, No, no. Oh, okay. no. This was, he was all about it. Yeah. But it was like, the, the way I <laughs> said it... The word. That's how he said it. Like, I want, like, just making it up for the The word story. of who? Like, he didn't want to even say Him. the Lord. Him. Yeah. I went, oh, okay. And it's like all, you know, ye says, you know, to the, <laughs> ye, ye ye. the word of the Lord. And I'm like, oh, okay. But it, swear to God, like as enthusiastic, quick, and as quick as I saw him, he was gone. But then he goes, you go, the word of what? The word. Bird. Yeah. Yeah. Oh bird, bird, God, bird. I would, I would, <laughs> I'd be like, I, I got to drop this meal off, dude. <laughs> So I literally, I go upstairs, I drop the meal off and I'm, I'm, I'm like, I still don't know what just happened. Yeah. Come back downstairs. And the first person I see that's outside just goes, hot one out there, tough day to move in. And, uh, and I'm like, yeah, what, what, what what movie am I in? I go, yup. 
and just keep walking. And I was like, that is back to back interactions of just people that uh, literally. It's a simulation. Yeah, we're placed there. Yeah. And I was, that's why I had to mention that because I was wondering if you've ever experienced it once, let alone twice in a row. And it, I don't know. That, that obvious. No. Those are just so generic sayings. Like, they're legitimately not. Nothing like, to it. The joke on the internet is like, you Hot know, one the, on sc- there. the Skyrim, yeah. you know, jokes are like yeah. making like side quests. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah. Like, it's uh, a character you run into on the way. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like I saw one, it was this kid walking through the halls and he's like, you know, they they, they say they put the best stuff on the top shelves and <laughs> just keeps walking. Like he's fucking around with these people, but like, but that's the point. Uh, but like, I hope someone does that out there. What just fucks with people like that? They do. There's videos about. Oh, really? It. That's why I knew. I. That's why I was like, oh my god, that just happened to me, but for real. Yeah. Like, it, it reminds was, me of like the the Wandavision uh, town. You know what I mean? Yes. That like, it was literally like <laughs> hot one out there. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. All he was a, a paid actor in yeah. my life, dude. I was like, uh, I don't know what just happened, and I don't know if I like it. That's so funny. Well, I definitely didn't like it. Yeah. Um. This was w- one of the things I was going to mention. That I, have we mentioned this on the podcast before? How dumb bankers' hours are. I feel like we've talked about this before. I have no fucking clue. Bankers' hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How dumb they are. What? <laughs> Explain, dude. The bank is open eight to four. Yeah. When people are working. Who the fuck can get to the bank? Yeah. Eight to four. Yeah, I understand, but like, why would you have to make an appointment to get to the bank? The bank should be something that's open, like, not even nine to f- close nine to five. Yeah. open outside of those hours. <laughs> and like, the joke is like, oh, what do you work at bankers' hours? Because you leave early. And yeah. It's like, but why is the bank leaving <laughs> early? Like, why is that still a thing? Yeah. What, uh, when are people doing business? They have to take off work to do. That's what I'm saying. You have to put in yeah. an appointment to cash a check to go to the bank. Yeah. Like, you know, luckily I just go to the ATM, bing, bang, boom, you're good. But yeah, like, bada, bada, bang. But that is such a ridiculous thing that it's closed at 4 o'clock. That is dumb. They And they get in barely earlier than anyone else. Anyway. Yeah. Hmm. What are you going to, you got to get in, you're getting to work, excuse me, at 9 o'clock? And you're going to go within the 8 o'clock hour to the bank? So what, what you're saying is bankers are part of the Illuminati. Well, I mean. I wasn't. I wasn't saying that before, but I mean they are. Yeah, for sure. You know, I don't think our local banker is yeah, yeah. is a part of the Illuminati, but I believe that yeah. the bankers are. Your neighborhood, uh, freaking. I was gonna say Coldstone Bank, but it's not that. Uh, well, the, yeah, we're the one that where you go in and they sing to you when you have to make deposits. <laughs> <laughs> Whose birthday is it? Who birthday? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, now, what a ridiculous thing for the Coldstone Creamer to do. Also. Yeah. To, to not it wasn't thing. even someone's birthday no no to be their thing is, yeah it is is like working at moe's welcome to moe's welcome to moe's but like they <laughs> sing immediately upon yeah. the entrance and then like often too right yeah i wonder how many people are mortified every time they have to sing and then the other half that get the job so they can sing yeah, but that's the thing dude they all seem like really into it yeah and how do you find that many people it really into the cold stone creamery like song no it's just a it's just probably a, a not too hard of a job and then you just gotta ha- have some you know musical theater kids that are looking yeah, for an I'm outlet i'm sure it's mad easy, you know dude i don't want to be singing someone does oh cause, oh because oh maybe their first thing is singing yeah they yeah like singing. musical theater i need a part-time job oh my god wow so cold they're stone just, they're just <laughs> brushing up on their skills while they're Scooping they're up. trying to flex dude i never considered that yeah they want in the slightest they want someone to be like oh you're amazing wow that was awesome here's one dollar <laughs> yeah i'm gonna tip you yeah oh you know what this is all i have is 25 cents. <laughs> but thanks you're really for, good though thanks for serenading me. you're really good while you while you mashed my cream on a cold stone Ew. <laughs> also is like when you are, do you become manager and are you like the lead singer at that point? <laughs> <laughs> the people in the back yeah. shoo bop yep. bop bop shoo bop all right Sharon bring bop, us home bop, shoo. I pay for lessons yeah <laughs> Oh no, Sharon's not here. She can she, we, she only she. Who's gonna lead. step up? Only she can be the lead, guys. Who's gonna step up? Sharon has a sore throat. 
and it's a woman's and it's a girl's part. <laughs> I can do it. Cameron, no. You can't. Your larynx. That's so bad. There's people waiting in, in line for ice cream. <laughs> yeah. What is happening right now? Why am I in glee? Why, why, what is happening yeah. right now? Decide, they're f- they're decide. feeling like you with the NPCs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Decide who sings and give me my fucking moose tracks, you bastards. I don't know what you're doing, but please hurry up. All of a sudden, the lights go out. Spotlight goes on Cameron. Shoot up. <laughs> Shoot boo. And then all, all the rest of them. Shoot up. Boop, boop, bop, yeah, boop, yeah. Up. Like mad quiet, and then they all build. All the lights <laughs> flick on, and Cameron's going banana land, and but, everyone's like. But all while they're mashing your ice cream yeah, on the stone. Yeah. Wrong orders. Though. Yeah. <laughs> all over the place. People are just leaving. People are just leaving, walking out, the bells ringing. <laughs> ding, ling, ling, ding, ling, ling, ling. And they're still <laughs> going, dude. Music cuts out, the phone's ringing. Yep. Yeah. Hey, uh, guys. Yeah, you got a noise complaint. You're going to have to keep it down. We got a noise complaint for the Cold Stone Creamery. Are we even talking about the right one? Isn't it Cold Stone that sings? Yeah, which other chain is there? Of ice cream stores? Basket Robins. Is basket? it Basket? No. Baskin? Baskin. Yeah, Baskin. Like you're Baskin and Robins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like a bunch of birds. They're shitting on your face. <laughs> yeah, just swimming in Robins. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, what do you mean? What, is there, what other chain is there? What about Benjamin and Jerome's? <laughs> Tom? What? Tom and Jerry's? No, Ben and Jerry's, oh, you bastard. Oh. Benjamin and Jerome. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. They're a chain and they're in the stores. They don't sing, though. No. They're just they're from not. Vermont. Yeah. Aren't they? New one Hampshire? Of the, one of the two. 50-50 shot. Yeah. What? Imagine it's neither. <laughs> Should we look that up? Where is Ben and Jerry's from? Yeah, they got them cows up there in Vermont. Or, or Hagen dazs we talked about that one. Before. Yeah, don't that, hog my thoughts. No, don't hog my thoughts. <laughs> but just that, that it's a fake name. Yeah, that's crazy. Ridiculous. Ben and Jerry's origin. Oh. Oh, okay, word. It's Vermont. For a second, I... I oh, no. There just is a Ben and Jerry's in Providence. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah Ben, ben and Jerry's. Like yeah. I was like, whoa. Yo, where's the Ben and Jerry? You go downtown, all of a sudden there's just like 400 cows. And you're like, where the fuck did this come yeah, from? What the hell? This was never here. Oh, well, actually, Providence is the birthplace <laughs> of Benjamin and Jerome. Oh, that is fucking funny. Um, All right. Do you have one? I do. All right. I don't want to overtake too much. Oh. I feel like, I feel like we're right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... No, we were driving to Virginia Beach for our AU tournament. I'm I'm 100% listen. Okay. Um, and we were driving on the highway, and you know how they have those electric signs, but they're not signs; they're like PSAs, kind of. But they're like on the top of in Rhode Island, they're on the you know the overpasses, but they have like cheesy ass messages on them. Like uh, Memorial Day weekend was just this past weekend, so they were like. Don't spend a long weekend locked up. But it was it was cornier than that, obviously. Yeah, that, that it was in some was, rhyme. <laughs> what is just, hey, don't go to jail, you yeah. jackass. Yeah. Um, like, click it or take it. Yeah. That's, yeah no, no. Drive no. sober, get pulled over. Yeah, the those, are, those are the classics. Yes, absolutely. No, but this one said, don't distract. Oh, squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it didn't. It said, don't drive, distract, dot, 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 squirrel. No way, dude. Sorry, God. That's that's actually pretty funny. Dude, I was dying. Don't drive to scrap squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I write it out loud every great, time we saw it. Oh, first off, great great sense of humor out of out of the uh, uh the state of uh Maryland? Delaware? I don't know. Oh wow. No, at least they did, yeah, that's actually a good one. New Jersey? Who knows? I have no idea. Uh, the, one, uh, one of those them. are three to four of the states on the way to Virginia. Yeah, so yeah. I would imagine it was one of those, but that is good. I do like that one. The ones up here were not as funny. Definitely not. And this was Memorial Day week. Oh, no, no, this was like the week before, yeah, yeah, or two right. weeks before. You right, you right. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, ah, you're not gonna remember it, whatever. Uh, um, but those signs are a little bit much sometimes. It's like okay, yeah. We get it. <laughs> 
Okay, Amber Alert. Okay, yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. No missing kids up there. <laughs> we got fucking dad jokes. Yeah, literally. Literally. You know what's? You know what's? All, I, I when I I saw a silver alert for the first time. I never <sighs> heard of what that was. Is that when an old person is missing? Yeah. Shut the fuck up. I'm right. Yeah. No way. Oh, you really didn't know? No. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Wow. Yeah. So That's about, sick. Yeah. 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 Hundred yeah. percent. I wonder what the rate of them getting found is. Uh, uh, usually, pretty often. Probably big, better than a kid. You, they're usually just. Uh, I mean, from what I've seen, this is like they're just lost, being on the highway, and they're just like, "Oh yeah, I was just driving. I didn't tell anybody where I was going." For days? No, it's not for days. Uh, it usually is like people oh, shit, call this a person's missing. People call the police after twenty five minutes. I don't know their situation. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Maybe this person's not supposed to be driving. True. 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 And they said, "Fuck it." Yeah. They're like, I can do this. But at the end of the day, YOLO. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. This, uh, are you a Stranger Things person? I. Were you? Are you? I w- think. Will you be? I think I started to watch the first season. I don't know how far I got. Okay. It could have been two episodes. So I'm the not answer really is sure. you're not. A no. Okay. Uh, I'm not a big mystical shit. Well, kind of guy. The question is, neither am I. I know it's if good. You're not it a has big to mystical be good. Person, then you're not gonna like the one I'm gonna bring up here, Michael. You, did you watch season the last season? No, I literally watched this season and a half. Uh-oh. So this is the thing. <laughs> this is the thing with Stranger Things for me. Season one seemed like it was a. It seemed like a real show. Yeah. With some like crazy creepy things that happen yeah and obviously the upside down like by the end it was a little you know a little stretched but like the creepiness to it was like this isn't that outlandish yeah it was like getting lost in the woods yeah and you're like it it was creepy and obviously like 11 starts to have nosebleeds and you're like oh she has superpowers like that's not real but like it did it wasn't so fantastical that it seemed absurd Mm -hmm. but then it started to go then obviously it had to build on itself and it became a little bit more than i was thought it would be yeah i don't know how far it got um but now i'm hearing that it's like like scary scary. yeah that's what i like really that's what i heard because they're all older yeah they're all like almost 20 years old so it's like they can do all like all this acting and i guess it's like frightening for the most part that's wild that's not the topic i'm bringing up okay have you seen the Domino's Mind Order? No. Is that for Stranger Things? Yep. It is a little a collab. collab. It is a collab. little collab. It is a collab with Domino's, and I did have to put in quotations or in parentheses, excuse me, real thing, because I was going to forget what Domino's Mind Order was. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, it, it apparently is in a collaboration with Stranger Things. Word. And somehow, he's kind of made it possible to order with your mind. We're going to read this together, Michael. Damn. To celebrate the upcoming fourth season, Netflix... Is it the last season Domino's. or no? Yes. Okay. The, the last episode of this season is two and a half hours long. Wow. Yeah. And the last, the two episodes before that are both an hour and a half each. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> 60 wild. 60 million episode budget. Oh my god! Yeah, absurd, dude. Absurd. That's insane. They went. They went all out. Yeah. Um, I didn't know that. I might have to watch it just because f- they fucking spend so much time. That, on it. Dude, that is what I was saying. I almost was like, I might have to revisit it just to see yeah. where it gets to. Yeah. It's really that crazy. Yeah. Um. But honestly, I know you're about to read something, but on the the tangent of. Netflix shows or even streaming shows, would you like it if they did it week after week and then you could stream it, or do you want it available available to binge in one day? Um, so this we had this discussion a couple episodes ago when I, really? I was well, not kind of because I brought up that um, streaming services are starting to revert back to cable. Oh yeah, 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 to keep their their consumers yeah. around. Um. To be honest, I'd rather it's like I'd almost rather binge it at this point. Okay. 
Because the problem is that there is so much stuff out there. Yeah. And so if you're going to... Can't wait around to watch something. If you're going to wait around to watch something and you're going to wait... And like, you, there's so much stuff you're watching in between. You're going to forget about it? That, yeah, or you lose interest. True. And, like, I know that's a product of the times, like, in your attention span and whatnot. But it just... It just kind of is what it is, you know what I mean. But I'm not that big of a show watcher, so like, I I, I guess it, it doesn't. Really I don't, I don't watch me. much. I watch YouTube. I, I, yeah, I'm, I guess what I'm trying to say is like, I'm not watching, and I'm just gonna name popular shows for the sake of the conversation, like Stranger Things, Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, and each thing's coming out one week at a time, and I'm watching one of them in, you know. Yeah. It's not like I'm not. I don't have that many shows. I just meant like. For a lot of people, they do, and there is a lot of options out there. Yeah. So, like, you're probably watching a whole bunch of shit in the middle between that one episode that came out last week. Yeah. And unless you're totally, totally, like, you know, crazy about it, it's not going to be that much. I know. But the mind ordering app, <coughs> um, uh, available to use through May 2023, the app primarily acts as sort of a video game showing you how to use your face movements through your phone's camera to perform, quote unquote, telekinetic acts. Well, uh, so basically, like, y- you're like just like tracking it with you, like your face. Okay. Like, as if your like, nose is tracing something. I bet that's what it is. Like, you're, it tracks your nose and you like click on it. Um, but, I mean, Still pretty interesting, mm. but just I mean, what a ridiculous thing! Like, and of course, Domino's is going to do that. You know, they uh, stick to paving roads. I'm glad you said that, Mike. I Have love. You seen ever one of those oven no. cars? That, my friends, is Bologna. The oven cars? Yeah, there's no way those are real. Yeah, I don't know. You don't think we'd see one? No, really. What do you think they have? Like New York City. Yeah. Quicker. If it's that quick, why would they need it? Probably should be in Montana. Ma- longer drive, you got to keep it warm. Or else you're getting, isn't it money back guarantee? Like Wendy's, hot and crispy, I don't know. call back. Who's getting not hot and crispy fries from Wendy's and calling back and getting new ones? Who it's is a guarantee? Getting- it's a guarantee. <laughs> I, I are mean, you whipping around and saying my fo- my fries are not hot and crispy? Give me new ones. Give me new ones. It is you guaranteed it. I'm gonna have to do it. Would you next time? No, but I'm saying, would you do it? I don't know. Because I'm telling you something. You wouldn't. I wouldn't. No. They probably shit in your fucking fries. Yeah. And it's like, uh, yeah, I know. I couldn't even fathom. Yeah, that always scares me so much. What? Like it, when they fuck up your order and then you're like, hey, I asked for it with blah, blah, blah and not blah, blah, blah. And then no, 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 no. they come back and like put their toenail in it. The, so, so well, no, because if they if they truly mess up the order, that's on them. Yeah, true. If if they, if in the rotation of the fries that you get, they're not warm enough for you. And it's that that would be like, oh, this guy can. Go I call it an unlucky trip. Yes, I do, too. Flat soda. Yeah. <sighs> that, that doesn't this doesn't apply to as many people but yeah i what? Co- dunkin donuts doesn't serve regular milk anymore what do you mean they only serve fair life milk okay and it's disgusting really yeah it's hard it's horrific the, first of all they are uh, morally a terrible company really so that's a whole nother thing okay yep. and then the dude the milk is like and their name straight up yeah that's why it's even worse ironic is what is like watery is it's ha- it is horrifying and i go back to hood rarely go to duncan yeah but i had a craving for a donut and i was like you know what i'm just gonna get a donut and a milk and that sounds phenomenal right now bang it they slapped that Fairlife milk on the table, dude. Oh, no. I almost drove away without really? paying. Yeah. I, well, no, I wouldn't have really done that. But <laughs> I was like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? If all the Dunkin' Donuts, I could have stopped that. And all the places I – and all the times. Yeah. You give me this bullshit milk. What they used to have? Hood. But again, this isn't – Hood, product, right. Yeah. Yeah. Regular yeah. ass milk. Yeah. But again, this only applies to me because I'm a fucking freak. But <laughs> whatever. Yeah, yeah. No one has milk preferences. No, no one's that upset about getting a, a, a not a milk chug. Yeah, true. Um, but no, I I totally agree. 
you're really rolling the dice every time you go and if you you know i mean i'm passionate i'm passionate about my food i am too but the hot and crispy guarantee domino's tipping you three dollars to go pick up your food weird yeah weird like you're supposed to be feel good about why are you paying me they're not even paying you. They're just giving you $3 off the next order you go to. Oh, wow. Yeah. And you probably aren't going to pick it up every time. Well, this is the thing. You might because I'm pretty sure the carryout deal yeah. is like much the best cheaper. Deal. Yeah, it's like the yeah. best possible deal. And then you get $3 off of that. And <clears throat> it's almost like an, a kind of an infinite glitch of money off. True. Because you're picking it up. It's cheap. Yeah. You're getting the money off. And you're getting the money off for the next time, then the next time, because you're picking it up every time. Sure. You're welcome, I, folks. And I like and I want to know, it must, they must not make any money with with uh, like delivery people. You know what I mean? It must be just so they don't have to hire anyone. Well, uh, what do you mean? Like more people coming in to pick it up, they don't have to have as many delivery. Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. So yeah, and that, that, and, that way and that way they don't have to make that godforsaken car that is an oven on the side. I mean, I would like it as my personal car. Yeah, just have Why hot not? food all the all time. the time. I don't even drive that much, but guess what? When I do drive, hot food, hot food, hot food. And now you can order it with your mind, folks. My noggin. My noggin. My cranium. Song of the week. Song of the week. Song of the week. It's funny because it's kind of like the song of the week. Not like the week, but like the week. Like W. What? W-E-A-K, not W-E-E-K. No, we don't have shit like that. What we ain't f- weak out here, yo. I know. I know. But like, imagine. My song is a remix to Bad Bunny's Kaita. Oh yeah, Kaita. Yeah, by Sergio Villanueva. Hmm. Dude, did you listen to? I that? think you showed me it. I sent it to you, but I no, don't know I if think you, you showed just... me it. Bro, it is absurd. Fire. Good. I'm gonna play it after that. We log, log out of here. Yeah, but... sign off. Bad Bunny's Kayaita Sergio Villanueva remix. So, my song of the week is Keeper by OGZ featuring A Boogie with the hoodie. Could you spell OGZ for the folks? Capital O H, no space, capital G E E S Y. From the rap group. Um, uh, oh, fucking. H. No, what the fuck was it? It's, wow, this it's is capital O H G. Shoreline Mafia. Oh, yeah. But it, it it's full ca- O H G all capital. No. Oh oh oh. oh Jeezy. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Word. Um, Michael, let them know where to get us. Oh, you can find us on Instagram. You can find us on SoundCloud, not Spotify. SoundCloud. Yeah, you can- Oh, you can find us. You the, can you find can, us on Spotify. You can find the the podcast on Spotify. You can't find the playlist. Y- you, you know, because Spotify people. When will you learn? It Apple is Music the is inferior. Inferior product, even to SoundCloud at this yeah, point. Yeah. Literally, SoundCloud is. I, I'm. I, I'm. It's one of the best, dude. It's great. Mm-hmm. It was so. It was just like the oh, you have SoundCloud, like the underground thing, dude. It is a phenomenal music app. I feel like a lot of people still don't use SoundCloud or never have. They're missing out on an infinite amount of music. Mm. Um, but yeah, you're right. Continue. Sorry. Um, find the place on SoundCloud, though. Uh, find us on TikTok. Find us on YouTube. Yeah, that ass. That ass, head. On him. On him. Or and her. I think that's it. He or she. Um, yeah. But. Appreciate it if you made it this far. You're welcome, as always, for the bangers. Yes. Um, perfect summertime playlist coming up, folks. I mean, my goodness, let me tell you. It's really um, an anytime playlist. Yeah, but it's fire. Well, I mean, it's an anytime playlist, but the summer's coming up. And yeah, we. I mean, the the types of music we have on there is catered to fun and the vibes. Yes, the vibes. Um, and we appreciate you 
coming back again. Uh, we hope to see you again for the next one, whether that be <laughs> 98, 99, 97. <laughs> who knows, folks? Only YouTube will know. Peace. Peace.